These are all the bald eagle feathers uh, that were salvaged out of only um, two of the carcasses. I was able to recover a good majority of them. Uh, there's some that were very uh, um, moldy, so I wasn't able to recover them. Uh, you can see that some of the stems uh, still have... Uh, it, it's like uh, a mold uh, inside. And so what we're going to do is we're going to cut the uh, tip because they've still got to be cleaned. Cut the tip. We're going to run uh, like a little, a little cleaner. Uh, add a bit of bleach. And then we're going to fill it in. Indigenous people uh, look uh, for feathers because they smudge. And it identifies them as being part of an eagle clan. The tail feathers themselves will be re-cleaned. Uh, borax will be used to uh, white note the uh, feathers and to remove any odor that might be found in the feather themselves. Uh, I was very lucky. I was able to retrieve quite a few. Um, this over here, this bird, this bird uh, would have been about a year, a year old. Um, yeah, just about that, a year old. This one of its still developing feathers. And so this one over here died of uh, electrocution. Uh, the, 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 the talons on it were extensively blackened and I could see by, even though the carcass was corroded, I could see um, points of exit on the uh, talon. You could tell by uh, the darkness around the point, by the way the skin is ripped. You could tell by looking at the talons how, how black the talons are at the bottom. And so, these over here are the same thing. They'll be clean, they'll be um, prepared. Um, Powwow is gonna, gonna take them. Uh, First Nations uh, spiritual man is gonna take them. They're gonna re-zip them, they're gonna correct them because it's easy to do. And, um, and that's it. Unfortunately, the feathers are valued at about 500 bucks. Uh, anywhere for a very small feather, uh, you'll pay on the market $75 to uh, starting with a feather like this over here. You'll be paying about that $75, and then they'll go up to 300 bucks. And then this one here fetches on the market uh, five, uh, four, four or five hundred dollars. I don't deal with the market. The the reports that I receive from uh, my friends at the uh, office, and also um, uh, court proceedings of people who had purchased uh, eagle feathers based on the prices they paid. It's the reason why the government doesn't really want people touching these birds, is because. If for any reason they suspect that you're selling eagle feathers, it, it'll be the worst day of your life. And a conservation office uh, is something you really don't want to toy with. They are very serious about the work they do, and they are very dedicated to what they do. They tolerate me. Besides that, uh-uh. Um, I get the carcasses. Uh, mostly have been decomposed. I uh, get to look at the bone... Uh, pile. Uh, if uh, the carcass is still intact and a necropsy can be done, that carcass will be brought to the conservation office frozen and sent for a necropsy. If the maggots are in, in the carcass, necropsy can't be done. And so you've got to look for utter tall tale signs like electrocution. Uh, you can tell by looking at the bones. You can tell by looking at the talons. Poisoning becomes now more difficult, but you can still see the traces of it, and the traces are green. And so, other elements like plastic, uh, that's found inside the uh, gut sack, like what I found and posted a video of. So, once again, these videos will be given out to, uh, to the indigenous people of Canada. I do on occasion give feathers out to non-Aboriginal people in Canada who follow the smudging practice. Uh, if, 
anyone needs a thatter, uh, feel free to ask. Um, no harm in asking. There you go. Uh, juvenile bird. Maybe about a year, year and a half old. Uh, this over here is subadult. It was just going into its change. It's very unfortunate. So you guys got to practice caution as to how you wrap your meats when you throw them out in the garbage. Uh, you got to practice caution as to how you throw your waste away in, in the wild. And uh, how you illegally dump your garbage could be the result of this bird here's debt. The bones will be salvaged because I wear, I wear eagle bones. That's my headdress. I'm a powwow. I... Um, Basically go in the forest. I go looking for eagles. I go looking for bears. Uh, I like riding freight trains and I plan on running for office at a prime minister so I can do the proper thing. Uh, return the land to the people including all Canadian citizens and uh, return the resources uh, to Canadians as owners of the resources. So you guys get to decide if a company comes here and pays five cents on a dollar taxes for the gold and, and any other minerals they extract, including diamonds. Personally, I, I, if I'm elected prime minister, I want 60, 60 to 70 percent of the uh, resource or of the uh, profit or the, the value of the resource returned to the Canadian taxpayer as a check in the mail once a month. My father says. I can easily, as I posted two years ago, provide Canadians with $2,000 a month, the following year $4,000, the following year $6,000, as long as the people in office only have one goal in mind, making money for the Canadian people as they do for the, for the wealthy criminals. Um, wealthy people there, they divide, and, and there's no reason for them to make 95% of the profit and give us back 5% and laugh at the facts. So let's laugh at them. Um, most countries do do want 65% of the uh, profit returned to them, or not the profit, the value of the mineral. And as they say, who, who are they to want that much profit when $300,000 on a million dollars is is a lot of money? And so I figure $250,000 for every million dollars they extract the minerals is fair uh, after the bills are paid, depending what the bills are, because I'm not into paying CEOs a billion dollars a year. You get my point? And so there you go. Uh, restructuring a country means you've got to run for office. You've got to rewrite the Constitution. You've got to rewrite the policies. You've got to do all this if you want change in your nation. If you don't want change in your nation, then, huh. Keep going to work at minimum wage and be broke for the rest of your lives, not able to afford a home, not able to afford the luxuries in life because you're allowing, how can I say, the, um, the wicked to pilfer your resources and feed you pig food. And that's what's going on. You get a bit of entertainment, you get a bit of alcohol, you get a bit of marijuana, work, 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 work. Uh, the landlord uh, pays so much in rent, so their mortgage is paid in five years instead of 25. Uh, all this your government's providing you is centered towards the wealthy. you, you got to get rid of your government and you got to vote for a person like me who's very serious about confiscating all the resources and going after all of them for plundering. If anyone deserves... 75% of the wealth, it should be the citizens of the country. Oh yeah, practice caution when you throw your garbage out.